Uh, as as Marion said, my name is Martin Robinson, and I'm the, the head of the Oxford Research Software Engineering Group uh, in the Department of Computer Science uh, at Oxford. Um, so, and so we've been um, developing this visualization tool for, for Daphne, uh, which I'm going to give a, a, a short demo on to show you what, uh, what's possible there. So I'm just going to share my screen here. There we go. So hopefully you can all see um, my browser with the, the visualization tool there. And Marion's nodding, so I think that's successful. Um, so, so yeah, the, so in Rose's presentation at the end, um, uh, you were shown how to create a, a visualization as part of a Daphne workflow. And uh, at the moment, you can um, uh, create a Jupyter, uh, a Jupyter notebook visualization. But this this tool is is coming to a, a future uh, release of the Daphne platform, and it aims to be a uh, um, a very quick and easy uh, way to visualize the outputs of your models uh, as part of the Daphne workflow. Okay, so you would you would create a visualization step in your Daphne workflow, uh, um, and um, and uh, uh, it would create uh, this 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 tool and populate the tool with all the data files that you select that you that you'd like to visualize. Okay, so the the entry point of the of the um, tool is at the top here where you select your input data. So you would select a number of different data sets to, uh, to visualize and they will be shown in a, in a drop down list uh, just at the top here. So uh, obviously the main challenge here is that um, you might want to visualize the, the data that you have in, in a variety of different ways and so this, this tool gives you a flexible interface in order to, to um, create whatever sort of a plot that you might want from your data. Okay, so you can plot a number of different types of data. The, the most um, common one, I guess, would be a, a CSV file, but you can also uh, create geographical uh, plots using uh, topojson files and geojson files, and you can select what type of um, input input data you you want to plot up here. So I'm going to pick a, a particular. Um, uh, data set which is uh, comes from a Nismon model um, which shows uh, um, which contains uh, measurements of CO2 uh, emissions from a particular model. So Tom Russell I think showed a few um, plots uh, generated from this data set uh, earlier on uh, during this presentation. Uh, so once you've got your data set then you can start ad adding visual elements to your uh, plot. And so, and you can do this in the geometries uh, tab over here. So you can add in um, a number of different types of visual elements, ranging from um, uh, you know, line plots or bar plots uh, or um, um, you know, scatter plots with, with points and things like that. So there's a wide variety of different visual elements that you might want to add to your plot. So here I'm going to create a simple uh, line plot. Um, and as part of each geometry, you've got a number of aesthetics. And these uh, aesthetics map columns uh, in your data set to particular visual properties of, of the plot. So for example, if I wanted to plot um, uh, the year versus uh, car emissions, then I would drag the year column, column over to the X aesthetic and the car column over to the Y aesthetic. Now I would get a line plot um, of car emissions versus here. Uh, so this this plot, as we've currently got here, looks looks a bit odd, and the reason for that is because uh, this particular data set um, has data from a number of different uh, scenarios uh, that the, that have been run using this mod. And you can see these explicitly if I add another visual element. Uh, and I add, uh, add some points. Once again, I plot year versus car, like that. And then I can see a number of different um, data points for each year. And then I can color those by the particular scenario that's in this data set, like that. 
and I can see the, the different uh, data points corresponding to the different scenarios that are in, in the data set. And so I can go back to my line plot here and do the same thing, color by scenario. And what that will do, we'll, we'll split up the different uh, line plots into one line plot for each uh, different scenario, which should, be, which should uh, look a little bit more clear. Um, so there, there's more um, options of, of things that you can do. And I'm just going to show uh, a few different things as, as illustrations. So you can filter uh, your data set by um, some sort of expression. Uh, so here, for example, if I want to only show um, years less than a certain value, then I would just type that in. So data and year less than, uh, let's say, 2040 like that. And so it filters your data set like that. Or I can filter, for example, by scenario. Oops. And it's called zero one dash. Like that. And it, you know, it shows me one of the, the different scenarios. Okay. So here I'm, I'm plotting uh, you know, versus year, but maybe I want to um, uh, for example, take a, a mean over all the years. So I get rid of these lines and points, and I'm going to add. Um, I, I'm going to try and uh, create a, a bar plot now. Yeah, I'm gonna create a, a bar here, and I want to um, create a different bar for each scenario. So I put scenario over onto the x-axis there, and I want to have a look at the, the car emissions as well. So I put that uh, on to Y. And uh, because there are different data points uh, for each year, okay, we need to somehow aggregate those. And so we can open up this particular aesthetic and have a look at the different options that are shown in here and, and then choose a particular aggregate. And here I'm gonna choose a mean like that. And uh, so uh, now it shows me the, the mean value of the car emissions over, over all years that exist in the data set. Okay. And so there's other options here. I can choose an aesthetic. So for example, if I wanted to change the label, I can do, do that as well and, and put a, a different label on, the, on this box. Okay. Okay. So um, uh, another thing that um, I, I mentioned was that this tool can uh, be used to plot geographical data. Okay, and so I'm going to demonstrate that here. So you can um, input the geographical data as um, either top adjacent or geo adjacent files. Uh, so here is just a, a top adjacent file showing the, the local area districts in, in the UK. Uh, and you can color those by the various properties that exist in the, in the top of, in the top adjacent file. Um, but often you, you might have a CSV data set which corresponds to a particular um, um, uh, geographical um, uh, region. Uh, and so you might have a, you might need to combine CSV data sets and top adjacent or geo adjacent data sets. And you can do that as well. And here I'm going to have a look at um, uh, this link uh, travel times data set, which is again is from Newsmod, uh, showing travel times um, across the road network. Uh, so I choose the, the CSV file containing my data. I choose uh, this top adjacent file, uh, which corresponds to the, the road network. And then I link them up using a particular field. So here I'm going to link them up by the, the ID of each. Um, uh, travel link. And then once I've done that, then um, it's it's going to show me my, my plot of, of um, the, 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 um, the road network around the, the Cambridge Oxford Arc, uh, which you might recognize that from uh, Tom Russell's um, plot uh, previous thing. Um, so, and in the columns over here, it shows me all the, the columns uh, that exist in my uh, link to travel times data set. And so I could color the, this road network, for example, by the, the travel times at a particular time of, of day like this. OK, 
screen. That's going to pop up soon. There we go. Um, and once again, this this is quite a large data set, and it, it contains um, uh, data points over multiple years. And so we, we need to um, uh, choose a way to aggregate that. And so here, I'm going to just choose uh, the mean aggregate again uh, to, give, to give you my final, uh, final plot. So this will aver average over all the, the different years. Okay. Um, so other, other um, things that you can do in, in, the, in the visualization tool is, is actually download uh, the particular data sets and, and have a look at them manually. And this, this is often uh, quite useful. So this just uh, downloads uh, the particular data set in, onto your computer so you can open it in, in Excel or, or what have you. Um, so, so yeah, this is that link, uh, travel times data set. Um, and as I said, so there's, there's a wide variety of different geometries that you, you, you might want to plot, um, which I've just shown a couple of. Uh, but there's also um, many different aesthetics than I, I've shown here. So if you open this link down here, you can see all the different um, uh, aesthetics that um, you, can, you can do. Um, okay, so I think like that's just been a, a, a quick demo of some of the, the, the features and hopefully it's given you a bit of a flavor of the, the flexibility that this tool has in showing different uh, different types of data sets and the different things that you might want to might want to do with it okay so i think that's pretty much it for me so i will uh, hand over to uh, back, back to marion for, for the next uh, step so i'll just stop sharing here. there we go thank you thank you very